Previously on Farmer Dan. The plan is to come in with the planter still set on 30 inch rows and plant this twice. So the first time we'll plant it here and the next time we'll come back and plant it here. So it'll make like twin rows seven inches apart and then the rest of the field will be planted at 15 inch rows which is the way we regularly plant soybeans. Hey guys, gonna uh, plant that twin row soybean trial on the strips today. We got all our corn in yesterday morning and I guess about 115 acres of soybeans in too. So we're in pretty good shape. And I got the planter ready to do this twin row trial and it started drizzling and it's raining a bit, but we'll see what happens. this monitor, do I leave it on number of rows at 15? Still 15, but you have to turn the split rows off. Okay, and then row spacing 30 still. Yeah, that's what I but, thought you were talking about. But now it says implement width 450, so I have to manually change that to 240? Yeah, I'll put the manual on 240 and try that up maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll try it here. I think it's working. Okay, that's good. Okay, see ya. Yep, bye. Let's go check how this looks. Farmer Dan, why don't you just no-till the beans in? So we tried no-till a few different times over the years. We found our ground just turns rock hard a lot of the time. And we couldn't get the yields out of it. We would compare it, the no-till to the mullboard plow and we wouldn't get the yields. But I think the mullboard plow is a little bit overkill. That's why we came up with this strip till idea and the high-speed disc idea and we'll see where it takes us. I'm gonna nudge this over seven inches and then you guys can see what it looks like. All right, let's make sure we're making twin rows here. That doesn't look right. Just realized I'm driving the opposite direction this strip was made and the opposite direction that I planted it the first time. And when I was nudged over seven inches, it only looked like three inches back there. So I nudged it over a bit more. I'm gonna head back on the next swath, but then I better just make all of my first, I better just plant the whole thing once and then come back and plant it all the same direction, I think, if I want it to be more exact because it was pretty tight twin row if it's only three inches apart you might as well just plant 30 30 inch rows right so these two are going to be a little goofy but that's why i started on the far end of the comparison i'm doing at the other end is where we're comparing to the disc spot so hopefully i have it all figured out by then
says we're doing 85,000 seeds per acre. So that'll actually end up being about 170,000 because we're gonna plant it twice. And then I think this thing's a little bit low. So it'll probably be more like 180,000. It's a lot nicer to spray beans that are on these twin rows compared to the 15 inch rows too because you can sneak between the rows pretty easy because you got that 23 inch gap. For the soil health people, I'm sure the strip tills better because you're leaving all the corn stalks on top instead of burying them with the disc. You're doing basically no till for two thirds of the field. But for me, it's got to yield to be able to, to stick with it. If it yields the same or better as the disc or the plow, then it's a no-brainer because you're going to use less fuel, less tillage, so better for your soil. Time will tell. Now I'm going to be that stupid neighbor that's always trying dumb stuff and has half their field plowed and half their field strip till and half the field no-till. Looks like I'm having chain problem. It's stuttering a little bit and the population just dropped, so I better go check that out. Just loose. See how that works. That's way better. I just put that chain on before we started. It loosened up pretty quick. Looks like the neighbors just quit. So I'm allowed to quit now. I'm gonna finish this first time over. Got a couple more rounds here and then I'll come back and do the second round tomorrow morning. So we got a seed here and a seed here. I forgot my tape measure, but I think that looks like around seven inches. This job's so nice, you gotta do it twice. Well, we must have disked over seven strips over there on the other end because we got one strip that's not going to get planted here with the twin rows, but maybe we'll zip over this with the disc again so that we can come right up and do a real side by side. But yeah, I think we got a pretty good trial set up here, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.